What is bandha? It's nothing. But you are attaching yourself to your mother. You're just telephoning to her. This is the telephone going to your mother. That's all. You know, I also play with you, I also say, all right, I'm giving you a bandha. I'm giving bandha to myself. It's a telephone call. Just a telephone call. But the faith has developed now that yes, this is the real faith, where you get completely detached in your emotional things. It's just, my mother, all right, just give her a bandha fish. My father, give him a bandha. My brother, give him a bandha. What are you doing? Bandha, what are you doing? You are putting that in the, in the bonds of your mother. But you are not conscious that you are doing that. You are just binding them with the love of your mother which is flowing through your hand. What are these vibrations? Is your mother's love? You've got it. It is flowing through you. But what about your love for your mother? And that is what I find that at the time when there is complete emergency, that surrender comes. And it works. So, there's no need to create any emergencies. You must slow and steadily work it out. And it will build up by itself. You will you'll have that power, I assure you. But meditation is one way, another is the knowledge of Sahaja Yoga. Not showing off, not telling others, but working it out on yourself. Different chakras, how they work out. On yourself, not on others. Once you start teaching others, it's a good. You better learn it for yourself and within yourself. I know who has mastered who, which chakra, which. Nobody tell others the, this is the way to do it, that. It's absolute nonsensical ego. So such things should not be done. If somebody asks you, you can tell, individual. But on a large scale, you do not give lectures on that. And don't confuse people. Now, so we have two things that we have to get over our emotional uh, grossness and our mental grossness. Same with our physical grossness. Physical grossness, can be overcome if you surrender yourself to one medicine is vibrations. Like Anupama, my grandchild, told her mother, you were born in allopathy, then you are falling homeopathy. Tomorrow you will find out some jumbopathy, then some numbopathy. So, but I am born in God. And I follow only God's path. And God will look after me and God will cure me. So my daughter said, Why? You may also change. He said, Why? Because God never changes. Simple answer. God will cure me. But you must have that much assent to say that. As you just jump out at the time of emergency. Same sort of an urge, that same sort of a personality should be within you to say that. Just if you say, Oh God, please save me. God has no time for such. You have no time for God. God has no time for you. Simple thing. Like that. 